Right, so um, I'm going to do a Depop video today. Um, it's going to be, it's not really going to be tips and tricks, it's more going to be how I do my photography and just literally what I do for certain items and I mean you learn stuff on the way um, but it's just what I do personally. Uh, what I found is easiest and quickest and just looks the best for me personally over the last like two and a half years that I've been doing it properly. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll just show you my setup and what I do with certain items. It's pretty simple but I'll show you because I've had loads of people asking me in my DMs on Instagram. Um, but as always, like the video, subscribe if you're new here and follow my Instagram and my Depop be down here at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's Finds, I H I N D S F I N D S. But yeah, I think that's it for what I've got to say. Um, in terms of videos, sorry there wasn't one last week. Um, it's got, obviously this one's going to be posted today, but I'm not too sure how many I'm going to do in the next few weeks because I mean I've got lots of ideas, lots of things I can do, but they're all obviously going to be stay at home ones and like collections and stuff like that. But I've got loads to do, but I just don't really want to put them all out at once in one big block over the next few months, if that makes sense. I'd rather space them out over the next year, um, as well as doing trip to a thrift, trips out, just trying to source stuff. But yeah, I might take like another like two or three week break after this video. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully lockdown will be lifted in a few months, two, three months, four. But even then, when it's lifted, it still won't come be back to normal for the charity shops. Car boot season is definitely a write-off for this year. So on to next next year, probably February, March time, I reckon is when we'll get back into car boots. But yeah, we'll get into video. I'll show you my setup and I'll show you what I do. First of all, we've got the backdrop. As I said, this is my backdrop. Um, nothing crazy. It's called Lasto Light, but I don't think it's still for sale because it used to be my dad's when he did photography years and years ago. I actually think he's older than me. In terms of color, this one's like a gray crease one. Um, you can use a white one. That's probably the easiest one to, for showing like the true details of a item or the color. Uh, but in my opinion, for the UK vintage scene on Depop, ASOS, where else can you sell? eBay, just everywhere. I'd say you blend in with just about everyone and it's a bit of a whitewash for all your items. My main, main tip would be just to try and stand out or just put like your own little twist on it just to make you a bit different to like just about everyone on the app. Um, but yeah, it's like a grey crease one. I like it and it works for me. This is the light I use. I use two of them. Um, if you want to buy these ones, they're on Amazon. Literally just search studio lights and they'll be like, I think they're one of the top results. Um, but yeah. As I said, I use two of them because it sh shows the item much better. That's one, you get a shadow on one side, but if you use two, it just makes it look a lot better. I've had both of these lights for over two years. Um, I think you can either buy them in a the set or singles. Uh, I'd recommend a set just because of that lighting. And they literally, they last for ages. I literally just got two new bulbs for them. Um, the new bulbs are in. But after two years, they did start to yellow a little bit, but these literally don't cost them much. I think it was about seven or eight pounds each, and that's for two years worth of lighting. So definitely worth it. Uh, I'd highly recommend them. They're literally off Amazon. I don't think they're too expensive. Um, but if you can't get these lights or don't want to put money into it, the best thing to do is outside shots, um, just using natural light, like on an overcast day is probably the best thing. But if you want to put a bit of money into it, I recommend these lights. Just search studio lights on Amazon and you'll find them. Last few items that I use, I just use a generic tripod. I think you can find them on Amazon, eBay, you probably find some dirt cheap ones. Um, but yeah, if you're going to be taking your shots all by yourself, I'd recommend a tripod. And for me, in terms of photography, I just use a phone. So I've just got a simple phone holder there, which just screws on the top. Again, Amazon, eBay, you'll find one there. The final item that I use for my photography, um, because I use an iPhone, because I, I like to keep it all on my phone, because um, I can upload from there, photos, description. It's just nice to have it all in one place. I don't use like a proper camera, upload it onto your computer, then onto your phone. Uh, I'm not really much of a techie person, so I just like to keep it all simple. But yeah, I use my phone, and this is basically, I would not be able to do anything without this. Uh, it's one of those selfie stick, like, 
picture takers. I don't know if it has an actual name. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy them by themselves uh, separately, but if you want to get one, I think if you buy a selfie stick, they come with in the selfie stick. Um, I'll have to try and find somewhere where you can actually get them by themselves. But yeah, they just run on like a small battery in the back. Um, you literally turn it on, connect it to the Bluetooth on your phone, and then you're on your photos. You literally stand in front of it, press it, and it will take a photo for you. Um, if you don't have one of these or don't want to buy one, you can probably use the timer on your phone. Um, it's just going to be really picky and just annoying to do. Set the timer and press it each time. Whereas if you have this in your hand, you just put the string in your hand, do your pose, stand there, whatever you want to do, press it and it'll take photos for you. So that is it for all the items and the equipment that I use to take my photos. Um, me personally, I like to take model photos uh, just because it saves a lot of questions from the buyer. Um, How does this fit? Can I see a model photo? I get it all the time if you don't put model photos. Um, but yeah, if you don't want to do model photos, you don't need a tripod, you don't need one of these, you don't need a phone holder. Um, but obviously you're only taking photos of the item um, without a model. But if you have a model, then that's even better. Or if you have someone to take photos of you, that can be good as well. But obviously, if you've got someone taking photos of you and you've got like 40 items to do, it might be a bit long for them. You might have to pay them. Um, there's lots of different things, but I like to do it all myself just because I can do it in my own time. And I like to do my own thing. I'm now probably gonna ramble on for a few minutes, um, hopefully spit a few facts and just tell you what like the best things that I do and best things that Depop sort of like to see um, for your photography and just how to get featured and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'll do that now and hopefully you'll learn a few things from what I'm saying. Right, so photography. Um, I'm a verified seller on Depop. Uh, I have been for since January 2019. I think it was like the 3rd of January. Um, but yeah, I'm a verified seller and once you get verified, they put you onto an app called Slack. It's sort of a combination between Twitter and a group chat and it's got all the verified sellers and it's got loads of Depop staff on there. It's got like the support staff and like the community staff which can help you with like any sort of problems that you got, questions, all the things like that. So yeah, there was a thread on there. It must have been early this year, maybe, yeah, probably, I think it was early this year. And it was sort of what they look for when they're putting items on the Explore page. Um, the Explore page is basically like the home page of Depop and you get you get featured there and most of the time you just get likes and follows. Every now and then it will lead to a sale but it sort of depends on the pricing and the actual piece. Um, but yeah, the main things that they look for, for all photography, what they love is model photos. Like without a doubt, anything modeled they love and just stuff which is different and it stands out. That is what I'd say is the main pointer for photography. With that being said, the two main things that I try to aim for is a model photo, and this one's really obvious, but a good model photo. It's a really obvious point that is, but by that I mean an item which actually fits you and looks good on you. Um, if you look for my Depop, um, the, main, the first photo, if it's a model photo, that's because it fits me and looks decent on me, if I can say that. Um, but if it's not, if it's a flat lay, you can scroll across and you'll see a model photo, maybe. Um, but you can see that it just is tight on me or just doesn't look as good on me. Um, so that's what I sort of aim for. If I can fit it and it looks good, the actual item, I'll put that as the first photo. If I don't get a good photo, which is modeled, then it'll have to be a flat lay or a hanger picture, which I'll get onto now. To sum up what I said, model photos are king on Depop. Um, but there are hanger pictures and flat lays. So a flat lay is obviously the item flat lay, laid flat on the floor and you take a picture from above it and then hang a picture, it's on a hanger hung up against the wall, against your backdrop. Um, so the Depop staff, what they look for, they don't actually like hanger pictures, which is weird to say. Um, they said it on the Slack app, um, on the app that all the verified sellers, they said that on there. They try to stay away from hanger pictures if they can and if you had to choose between hanger and flat lay, they prefer flat lay photos. Um, I don't really know why, but that's their preference. Saying that, overall, do the photo which the item looks best in. Um, when I'm doing my photos, I start with hanger photos and I take pictures of everything on a hanger. 
if it doesn't hang right properly because you can sometimes get the arms they just don't look right and you get shadows and that then I'll go to a flat lay which is much it's easy to do but it can be like time consuming and in my opinion some items don't look as good laid flat um, but then after that I'll do model photos so I basically do like one I do all my items hung up and then I do the ones which don't hang up properly then I'll flat lay and then everything will be modeled if I can fit it um, if I can't fit it then it will just be all hung up or flat laid that might sound really confusing and it can be time consuming at times but to sum it up like just take photos of what the item looks best in starting with modeled then do flat lay or hang hung up um, my personal preference is hung up because it's so much quicker to do flat lay because you have to get creases out and pull it everywhere but I do modeled hung up and flat lays but modeled are king then flat lays is what Depop like but sometimes hanger pictures look a lot better even when Depop say that they don't like hung up pictures if you look through the explore page there's still hundreds of hung up pictures of items on hangers against like walls backdrops so I wouldn't say it's bad but they I think they say that they just try to stay away from it just because they don't think it looks as good as modeled and flat lays but yeah I think that's it for a little bit of photography knowledge and tips that I do and sort of what to what Depop look for hopefully you learned something um, I think I rambled on a little bit there um, I don't I'm not very good at getting my points out um, but yeah hopefully that helped a little bit as always hope you enjoyed the video Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Um, what else have I got to say? Follow the Instagram and my Depop we're down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's Finds, I-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. Um, I'm posting loads on Depop at the moment, so go follow that. And yeah, stay safe. I'm not sure when lockdown's going to be gone, but as I said at the start, even when it, is, well, even when it stops, like it's still going to be really slow at the start of us trying to get back to normal. But yeah. Uh, probably won't do another video for a few weeks just because I want to try and space out all these stay at home videos because I've got collection ones that I can do, loads of other Depop ones, sort of things like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all of that. Follow the Instagram Depop in a bit. Peace.